आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया इज ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे On 25th October 1944 freedom fighter Hazara Singh was executed in the Red Fort by the British government on charges of waging a war against the emperor Hazara Singh hailed from Jhan Gilana village of Hoshiarpur district in Punjab He served in the Punjab regiment of the British Indian Army when Subhash Chandra Bose waged war against the British Empire as the leader of the Indian National Army Hazara Singh volunteered to join the INA He served the INA as a havaldar in the 3rd Kerala regiment Hazara Singh took part in the battles in Burma where he was captured by the British The country will remain indebted forever to the selfless sacrifices made by these soldiers of the freedom movement. On 25th October 1947, the erstwhile princely state of Mysore got its first democratically elected chief minister. Even after the rest of India attained freedom, Mysore continued to witness political unrest, seeking an end to the rule of the Maharaja. Therefore, the freedom struggle in Mysore continued after 15th August 1947. In order to end monarchy, Mysore Chalo agitation was launched with political activists from across the region joining it. Heeding the call of the Congress, local community and volunteers joined the Mysore Chalo movement to force the Maharaja to relinquish power and install a democratic and responsible government in the princely state. There was a massive assembly and show of strength in the city on 4th September 1947 in which hundreds courted arrest. In the melee the police opened fire to disperse a procession and a high school student died of bullet injuries aggravating the situation Sensing the public mood the last maharaja Jay Chamaraja Wadiar conceded to the agitators demands and announced his decision to hand over the reins to a democratically elected government thereby accede to the Indian Union on the 24th of October 1947 the maharaja's decision to step down paved the way for KC Reddy to become the state's chief minister on 25th October 1947 he was a member of the constituent assembly after india's independence he remained at the forefront of the mysore chalo movement and went on to become the first chief minister of the state and served in the post from 1947 to 1952 that brings us to the end of this episode of azadi ka safar with air news see you in the next episode tomorrow